Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Just send me in peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Um, let me go ahead and state right quick, though, that uh, we got some uncles that are, you know, they're old enough. But if I can, I'm going to point this out about these uncles. And that is that uh, they're a little older than me. And they say things like, women are going to be women everywhere you go. And you got to adapt to get them. And you got to have something to get them if they find. And they never talk as though you might actually be a prize too. Unless maybe you've been in the gym. And even then, when you do what would make you, what made some other dude a prize and it ain't working for you, they say, well, you need to check. They always tell you to keep checking yourself. Gentlemen, you young cats got to understand this. There are going to be times when you just wrong and the old heads is right. And I'm saying this as a middle-aged guy. But there are going to be times when the old heads are wrong and you right and that's just all there is to it. And this is one of them. When an old cat, uncle, comes up, tells you, hey man, look, these street dudes win because they got more confidence and vibes and energy and they just shoot their shot and they ain't scared of me too. You look at this dude like he got two heads, man, because he just sat there and put the cart before the horse and he don't have the excuse to do something that dumb. He just old brainwashed plantation minded in 19. That's it. About that subject. That's all. And they'll sit up and tell you stuff like, well, you know, man, they, they ain't worried about me, too. And they just got more courage. And that's really why they win. Just be like, no, bro. They got more courage because they win and ain't got to worry about me, too. They the dudes that ain't got to worry about me, too, because these same women that are on that me, too stuff right now with regular dudes like us ain't going to be on that for them because they ain't regular. They street. Dummy. Foul the huck. Did you not know this in word? You got the right to ask this, bro. Because they're going to be on that stupidity like it's normal. As far as they're concerned, you need to just adapt to that. There's more too. I want you young brothers to know. And note and pay attention to this too. Um, they'll sit up and say things like, well, you know how all these women fall threes if all of y'all ain't getting none. And we stop and think about the math. Let's say that in your local area, if the numbers of men and women are roughly equal, roughly, um, or the let's say the mating market, or just the sexual market, is comprised of roughly equal parts men and women. And you got, well, let's say that even in a small town, man, in a small town, you got 2,100 uh, women cruising for some dingaling, for some Johnson. But only from 15 to 7% of the dudes. And you got 2,100 of these dudes same thing they're you know they're above 15 and okay so how many of them dudes how many of that 2100 the women gonna like 15 to 7 percent 15 percent of 2100 is 315 Now, that's not all. So you got 2,100 women that are sharing 315 dudes.
So those 315 dudes might have unevenly between them 2,100 bodies. Unevenly. So that means some of them are going to have high, insanely high body counts themselves. You know, higher than the women's. But let's say that the women kind of cycle through these dudes fairly evenly because there's enough women to do that. You still have a situation in which one of them broads could go up into the triple digits. And then you add the point, the pot, the point is that it works out to where you've got a bunch of dudes that are not getting none. And you got a, got a lot of married guys that ain't getting it. We don't know how many of those numbers are, but they estimate that about they estimate roughly half of marriages in uh, uh, the U.S. to be um, sexless. So you you still, however you slice it or dice it, you got a bunch of dudes confessing. So that's a confession that they ain't getting none. And you got a bunch of women confessing because that's a confession, a confession, even if they're bragging that they out there bad. Racking up body counts. Really, you would have to ask the women how it is that they can be these four threes with these high body counts. While so many dudes ain't getting none. You got to ask them about that. Don't ask the dudes. They ain't getting none. They don't know how this works. Ask the women. If you're going to sit up and tell these young cats, you old uncles, the women control access to them drawers, which they generally do because we men allow them to unilaterally control it by not saying no ourselves. Then they get to explain how that is the case. But it seems to be because you've got confessions. I mean, what you going to believe when a young dude tells you, man, I'm out here getting all them draws or no, I ain't getting none. Which one you going to believe? If you're going to believe the second one, then you got to take that that you already believe that. So you got to take their word for it. Now, it could be that women are shamed if they don't have these high body counts by other women. So maybe they're in the position that young dudes would have been back in the 80s and 90s lying. Yeah, man, I'd be getting maybe they lie. I don't know. But I'm not sure. The point is that don't let these, talking to you young brothers, don't let these women shame you by double standards because oftentimes you don't really have, really truly have double standards. They have double standards. They don't want inexperienced men, but none of them wants to be a practice dummy to any man either. Not that they should want to be a practice dummy, but their disdain for inexperienced men coupled with their refusal to be a practice dummy is an unrealistic and insane double standard. But they have it. They're not playing. They're not faking it. And they're not settling. You actually settle for the reality that you're not going to run through uh, these broads like that right now and then get you uh, an inexperienced virgin later on you know that ain't realistic you ain't looking for that inexperienced virgin later on nice conquest if you get it but you don't be looking for that they look for that double standard they have that's not even possible and then they get mad when they can't find it they wear high heels and then don't want no no ever no man ever to be shorter than them they compete with men for the same high paying jobs and the same salaries in the workplace and they don't never want no man to make less money than them that's what they do they come they compete with men to eliminate men and then get mad when they've eliminated the men and they're stuck with the men they don't want because they eliminated them they do that to themselves your double standards are nothing compared to theirs. And they're dead serious about their double standards. Don't listen to them ever again. They don't know what the walk they talking about. Thank you for listening. As always, Black Heart, Black Mind, Blackout, Asalaamu Alaikum and Black. You know the rest heterosexual, non-select male power just because they don't like it in black. Patriarchy until extinction of Judgment Day. 
Thanks for flying with me again on Jet Black Airways, where Jet Black is also a verb. Keep Jet Black with me till the wings and the wheels fall off. Gender. Justice. Forever. Oh, and uh, don't forget to hit the cash app on your way out the door upon exiting the vehicle. Assalamu alaikum.